Have you ever wondered how Westboro Baptist Church members decided on who was going to do which sign movie? Was it just random luck of the draw? Did Fred Phelps assign it? How did they figure it out? I look at some of the sign movies and the individual personalities who do the particular sign movies and I wonder, is this a coincidence? Because some of the movies seem to reflect the approaches of the various members. And it seems like they would want to do that particular sign movie. For example, Margie Phelps really gets into it when she's at soldier events. She really likes yelling about the soldiers. I don't know what's going on with that, but for some reason or another, she really seems to get into that. And she did a couple of Westboro Baptist Church's sign movies about soldiers. Steve Drain seems to like to do the sign movies about how churches today are so rotten and not biblical. Did perhaps he have a grudge against churches? He'd never found a home before until he met Westboro Baptist Church. Did he have a hard time flowing in and out of churches that weren't enough hate in them for him? Perhaps it could be the case. He seems bitter and resentful against all the churches in America. Fred Phelps likes to do the ones about the leaders of the nation, such as the one about the Queen of England and the one about George Bush. And of course he does their signature sign movie about the one famous sign, God hates you know what. Sarah Phelps does the sign about how God laughs at when gays die. Her personality, I believe, would fit into that because she has this black widow, really sarcastic, even sadistic side to her, and she really could see someone doing that. So I could see her picking that sign move. I, this is just speculation, folks. I don't know how they decided, but it seems like it fits their personalities to some extent, at least.